Hey everybody, welcome back to Rick's Tech Talk. Today I have some Orbeez and I'm not doing an overview on Orbeez. I'm just going to show you how to get them wired up in access point mode. Um, access point mode means that you, you're shutting off the built-in router into here. So I have my modem. Let's just say that this is a, a hardwired router, no Wi-Fi. From here, I go into my switch. From my switch to my Orbe. Okay. Now, we have two options to get these satellite units to talk back to the main Orbe in it, when they're in access point mode. So the first way is just to put them in the house, plug them in, and let them talk back to each other through the wireless signal. Now, if they're too far away, they're already getting a weak signal, so anything that's connected to them is just going to be slow. Okay, so I want to hardwire these two back to this guy, and I'll bring it around and I'll show you. It's very simple, but it could save you a lot of time, a lot of headaches. Okay, so here's our cable modem. I just want to go over a quick reminder. Anytime you plug a new device into your modem, you always have to power cycle it. Otherwise, it's not going to release an IP address and associate with the MAC address of that new device until you power cycle it. So it only works with one device plugged in at a time. So we go from our modem to our router and to my switch. Now we get our Orbi into access point mode and this is the main one. It says router on the bottom and I just go from the WAN port here into my switch. Very easy. Okay. Now you would think with the satellite units that you could just plug them into a switch as well. You can't. So you would take your second satellite unit and plug it in to the back of the main Orbi. And then you can take your other satellite unit and you plug it in to the back of the main unit. So now both Orbi satellite units are hardwired back to here. Now that could be a challenge for some people, depending on how your house is wired up. You have to make sure that your main Orbi is down in your DMARC location where all your Cat 5s from your rooms come down to. If you have that kind of setup, then you can hardwire these two units and they can talk to each other through the hardwired Cat 5. Now each unit will put out the same speed as the main. So it's just a better type of setup, and then you can go farther with these. You could put one of these satellite units in your barn, as long as you have a Cat5 going out there. And when you come in the house, your phone would just automatically join the main unit, because it's a mesh network. You don't have two different types of uh, Wi-Fi names. Okay guys, there's a couple of things I want to mention uh, about the Orbi once you put it in access point mode. It's going to pull an IP address from your router. So it's going to lose whatever it had. The IP address gets decided by your router. Now to log in to your Orbi now, anytime you want to get in, you can still use the mobile app. That works great. But if you want to do it from a computer, you have to make sure that you're connected to the Wi-Fi portion of your access point, your Orbi. You open up your browser and then you would type in www.orbilogin.com. Okay, this right here. That will get you into your Orbi. Now let's double check and see if we are hardwired on our satellite unit. So we just go to Attach Devices. Okay, after the screen loads up, I can see right here Connected Satellite Devices. Um, I have the two and that they are hardwired. Okay, and backhaul status is good. So now each one of these units will get the same Wi-Fi speeds as the main unit, and I can separate them much farther than if they were, you know, talking to each other through the, the wireless connection. So that's it. Okay, guys, that's about it. So that's how you get your uh, Orbeez into access point mode while still hardwired to your network. So if you have any questions, hit me up below. You can also check out my Facebook page and um, you know, ask me questions on there, request videos, whatever it might be, and I'll do my best to get back to you. So uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.